<laughs> yes, I'm sure they will. Um, it is that instrument that demands seriousness. So, so you're here. Hi, Amy. I'm so glad you're here. You are, you are God. Amy Termina. She works. And give me your full. What is your official position? I'm the theater teacher at Lutheran High North. Well, actually, it's now Leah North Academy. All right. So that t that shows you that this is not just Pastor Bucko flying by the seat of his pants here, which is good in its own right too. But I'm so grateful to have Amy here. She's going to help us today get a feel for how visually we want to put it together and that kind of stuff. So what I was going to suggest is we go off to the sanctuary. There's nobody practicing in there right now. We can set up there. But we want this. It's supposed to be a half hour for each family as they go through this. And we want to do four shows a night. And just for two nights. And I know this is a bad time. I'm aware of it. Like, as we try to get this together, I'm thinking, oh, everybody's telling me all of the reasons we shouldn't have this thing. And I'm like, I don't care. I've got this dream. We're going to make this happen. But I'm so excited you all are here. So I just want to start with a prayer, and then we can move over, and then we can see how this, we can read through and see how this looks, okay? So let's have a prayer. Grace, Holy Father, this is a new opportunity for us. I've never done this, and a lot of us have never done this, and yet here we are. Uh, you, you've, you've given so many of these young people... And, and not just the young people, but us who are older as well. You've given us these gifts to, to just want to perform for people, to, to, to speak words to people that will make an effect in their lives. Well, there's no better way to do that than with Jesus Christ. So, Lord, help us. Help us as Epiphany Lutheran Church and School to, uh, to whatever you would have us do with this unique experience, help us to do it well. And, and help us know that this is not the only year we're going to be doing something like this. If this works out well, that this might be a standard for our congregation pushing forward. We ask all this in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Okay, we need to assign everyone a role now, okay? Uh, we're not going to have four more auditions. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 It's not something I, I want to hide. I was going to have Cooper be Casper. Okay. Yeah, yeah, for Cooper, sure. Cooper's Casper. Okay. That makes sense. What? Priest. Harry High Priest. Williams. The Priest. Guard. Guard. Herod. Mary. Guard two. Wow. Covered. We're covered. Everybody's All covered. Right. Nick didn't know there was practice today, so he's Ooh. already got something else going on. That was on. my problem. I didn't have his email. Welcome to the happiest search. You've just had the carolers, and now the people are brought over to the play. And now we start, and we start with Melchior. There you go. We sure traveled far to get here. It's beautiful. Uh, Look, the star seems to be right above the city. Most of our prophecies come from the prophet Isaiah. Isaiah said that the king would be born of a virgin, would bring light to all nations, would speak in parables, would be called Emmanuel. Emmanuel? God with us? Maybe that's why we are here in Jerusalem. Uh, are we ready to go in? We've come this far. Yes, you are right. It's been a long journey, but praise be to God, we are finally here. They find various treats like Twinkies, a rubber chicken, Slinky, an extra sketch Mr. Potato Head, a PS2 controller, a TV remote, a lot of funny things that people will find humorous when they're being pulled out of the bag at the, because they're checking to make sure they got the right treasures that they want to bring the king, okay? Hi there, what, what's with that bombastic, bomb, what word is that? Bombastic. It's just what it sounds like. It's a bunch of words around words. Bombastic noise. We are travelers from afar. We have followed yonder star. We are here to see the one born under the star, the one called the King of the Jews. When you find this King of the Jews, please report his whereabouts to me, so I might worship him as well. Please take this myrrh. May this spice usually used for burial preparations also bring you joy through its strong aroma. And the play is done. And then I would thank all of you publicly in front of everybody. And then I would thank everybody for coming. And then I would talk about, about some things and that we have a brochure in there that explains some more of the prophecies surrounding Jesus. And I would just share with them that even six prophecies about somebody um, is like one times 10 to the 27th power of probability. Jesus had 300, just something to consider. And so, so just the idea that, that there's, a lot of, there's a lot of validation that Jesus is the, is the savior. And so I'll just leave that with people and say, um, you can come to church this Sunday, you know, for this Saturday night for Christmas Eve, and, and you can find Jesus there as well, just like the wise magi. So just something like that, and then people can stay as long as they want, they can go, and then they go. But that's the play. <laughs>